Hello everyone, my name is Kimia Motley and I am the Director of Communications at A Call to Men. Our amazing CEO, Tony Porter, was a guest on your show. Don't tell him, shh. But my favorite episode was the one with Liz because I feel like she's my best friend in real life. Like everything that she shared, I said, oh my God, that is me. If if I can fix them, then then I've like closed that loop, Close that circle. <laughs> right? Yeah. And that's obviously not how it, it works. My ex-husband was very abusive. And in his final act of violence towards me, not only did he shoot me multiple times, but he also shot my daughter who was 10 years old at the time. Now, the amazing thing is that we both lived. I often say that my daughter is the number one reason I cannot stick to any healthy eating program because she's an amazing baker. She's always giving me stuff and I can't tell her no, right? But at the same time, I see her and I see my son struggling with very real issues, relationship issues, emotional, that I know are a result of that. Being able to, to help my children continue to grow makes me feel like I'm enough. Kimya, 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 Kimya. I mean, I am just, woof, I'm blown away by you. You're amazing. Just based on four things that you told me about yourself and that you survived and that you're doing with your experience. I have so much to learn from you. My question for Liz, I wanna know how you got to the point where you no longer chose those unavailable men or those men that are narcissistic. You said you moved past the point, I wanna know the deets. First of all, is to look for one thing in a potential partner turn down the volume on what they're saying and watch what they do. The second thing that's been really helpful for me, which is re-establishing the trust that I have with myself, building my own house, and, and then seeing if people can, can come in. The third one, stay in your own hula hoop. It's a really good piece of advice uh, that I got because part of being in a relationship with people who can be abusive or narcissistic, it's a codependent relationship, right? I gotta stay in my own hula hoop and they can stay in their own hula hoop. By establishing those boundaries, it becomes much more clear. Is it bringing love into your life or is it making you feel empty? Is it making you feel scared? Is it making you feel doubtful? So reestablish that trust for yourself. You're incredible. So don't believe anyone who tries to convince you otherwise. Sending you so much love, Kimya. I hope we meet one day in person, holding you in my heart.